If 2 is a zero of the function fx equals 6x cubed minus 11x squared minus 3x plus 2, what are the other zeros? a minus a third and minus a half, b minus a third and a half, c a third and minus a half, d a third and a half, or e two and three. Okay, we're given two is a zero of this function and we want our other two zeros, so we want to factorise our function. We've got two ways to do it, well, three ways to do it. The quickest way is using Horner's method. Uh, we'll demonstrate that here. We're not going to teach it here. We could teach it in a different place. Uh, but uh, basically what you do is you put the two, which is the zero on the left, or you put the coefficients of the function across the top, six minus 11 minus three and two. And then it's a, it's a s algorithmic process. We pull down the six. We say two times six is 12 minus 11 is one. 2 times 1 is 2, minus 3 is minus 1, and 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, plus 2 is 0. And that directly gives us the coefficients of our other factor, which is 6x squared plus x minus 1. We can do another video teaching Horner's method, but it's an extensive process to learn the algorithm. So here we're just applying it. Um, we missed the bracket off the end on the x minus 2 there. So... The slightly longer way to do it is long division, in case we forget Horner's method. Here we see all the workings of the algorithm. So we, we're doing 6x squared, sorry, 6x cubed minus 11x squared minus 3x plus 2 divided by x minus 2. We say how many times does the x go into 6x cubed? It goes 6x squared times. We times our x minus 2 by the 6x squared, giving 6x cubed minus 12x squared. Just like normal long division with numbers, we subtract this, giving us that 6x cubed by 6x cubed cancels out. 11x squared minus 11x squared minus minus 12x squared is plus 12x squared, gives us x squared. We drag the rest of what we've got down, so we've got x squared minus 3x plus 2. How many x's go into the x squared? x x's go in, so we put x on the top there. x times by x minus 2 is x squared minus 2x. We subtract that again. They, x squareds cancel out, leaving us 3x minus 2x minus 3x minus minus 2x, which minus 3x plus 2x is minus x plus 2. Uh, x goes into minus x minus 1 times, put minus 1 on the top, minus 1 times x minus 2 is minus x plus 2, which cancels out to give 0. And so we're going to use our quadratic formula to find the, the two roots of this 6x squared plus x minus 1. So x is equal to minus b, which is 1, plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4ac, 4 times 6 times minus 2. So that's plus 24, divided by 2a, divided by 2 times 6 is 12. So we've got minus 1 plus minus, square root of 25 is 5 over 12. Minus 1 minus 5 over 12 is minus 6 over 12. Minus 1 plus 5 over 12 is 4 over 12. So we've got minus a half, or we've got a third, which is this answer here, C.